Hello everyone and welcome back to the ICO channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to configure the ICO Duo Plus and, and, Pro, and Plus Pro with paddles for arcade games that use spinners. So games like Arkanoid. Wouldn't it be great to be able to use paddles that you have hanging around and make them work with those games? So let's, let me show you how that works. Um, so on the device, I've got the paddles already connected and the paddles are detected. So as I, you can see, if I move in um, left and right, it'll spin left and right. And then the second paddle, which is next to it here, is the bottom one. So that one's also uh, uh, working. So now that the paddles are functional, let's just check, make sure Windows also sees it. This could be also on, uh, it's obviously I'm running it on RetroArch, which is multi-platform and I've tried this on Meister, I've tried it on uh, RetroPie, got it on Odroid, and they are all functional. So, but uh, let me just quickly show you real quick. I'm gonna push the Windows key and look for um, my game controllers. And you'll notice that uh, there's two of them here, which is maps to port one and two. I'm connected to port one. And you'll notice that uh, when I move the paddles, um, you know, one of them is controlling the Z axis and one of them is controlling the rotation. So these are true analog um, joystick type uh, game controllers and they're functioning uh, correctly. But to get them to work with arcade games, you know, they don't rely on analog controls. Instead, the spinners um, look for uh, more like a mouse. So mice is what you, we, we need to use. And uh, to make the device emulate a mouse, what we need to do is, um, on the device itself, go to um, uh, the menu for the settings. Do that by clicking the green and the red at the same time. And that'll bring up you to the menu. Um, if you don't see the menu, that means you don't have the latest hardware or latest firmware. It's only available, I think, since firmware 8.5 and above. But uh, once you're in the menus, then you can see I've got um, there's several con uh, choices here. I'm going to go to other settings. Um, under other settings, you'll notice one is called mouse, and the green button is to toggle that. So I'm going to turn. Actually, it wasn't green; it was blue. I'm going to turn the mouse on by pushing the blue button, and um, you know, that's all really there's to it. And you push yellow, go back a couple of times. And now you see a little M on the screen that tells you um, mouse is being emulated on that uh, first uh, battle. So I'm going to go ahead and go back, zoom out. Now notice um, if I go to here so you guys can see, I've got a mouse here. And as I move this mouse, it's going to move uh, that way. And then this one moves up and down. A little bit of a delay because I'm doing the recording, but in real uh, life, it actually moves um, instantly. So let's um, go ahead and start up uh, one of our games and see how it uh, works on a game. I'm going to go ahead and bring up Arkanoid. Uh, notice Arkanoid is running on MAMI 2010. Go ahead and start that. Bigger. Okay, so we've got our coin up. I'm going to go ahead and push um, select to get the coins. And then this is the start button. And here we go. Okay, so notice mouse is operational. Ooh. I'm going to pick it up so it's a little easier right handed. And the fire button also works. Great. So yeah, this is pretty nice because it's uh, it really does make your paddles come to life and the games become so much better to play than you know, your typical. <laughs> All right. So I think you got the understanding and hopefully you'll enjoy one of these devices. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, 
give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And you can get this device on www.icode.com, I-C-O-D-E.com. Um, if you have any questions, drop me some questions and I'll be happy to answer. Have a great day.